Laurie Thomas with the University of Kentucky Forestry and Natural Resources Extension, and I'm here with the tree of the week, the hackberry. Hackberry, Celtus occidentalis, is a medium-sized deciduous tree of the elm family. It is also known as common hackberry, sugarberry, nettle tree, beaver wood, northern hackberry, and American hackberry. It grows relatively fast and may live up to 150 to 200 years, and it is considered intermediate to somewhat tolerant to shade. Trees typically grow 50 to 70 feet tall and up to 2 feet in diameter. They tend to have a straight central trunk and an ovoid crown when mature. Hackberry wood has limited commercial importance, but the fruits provide birds and other animals in, with food in the fall and into the winter. Hackberry is widespread and ranges from the northeast into the midwest and as far south as Arkansas and Georgia. It grows best in rich, moist alluvial soils and is commonly found on limestone outcrops. However, it is capable of adapting to a wide range of soil conditions and is commonly planted as a street tree in Midwest cities because of its tolerance. Hackberry has often replaced American elm, which was impacted by Dutch elm disease in both native forest settings and planted landscapes. It is relatively free of disease and insect issues with the exception of witch's broom, which are dwarfed, dense, contorted twig clusters at the ends of the branches. Witch's broom is initiated by the com combined infestation of gall mite and powdery mildew. The leaves are hack of hackberry are deciduous and alternately arranged on the twig. The simple leaf is oval to egg shaped, about 2 to 5 inches long with serrated margins. The leaf has a tapering pointed tip and an unequal base with three distinct veins originating from the base, and you can see that pretty clearly in this photo. The leaves may be hairy or scurfy, which kind of means hairy or scruffy, and green above and pale below. Autumn color is yellow and not particularly showy. This species is monoecious, meaning one house, which means a tree has both male and female flowers on the same tree. The flowers are very small and light green. The male flowers are in clusters and the female flowers are solitary. The flowers appear in the spring with the leaves and they are wind pollinated. The fruit is a round droop, looks kind of like a small cherry, which is a one-seeded fleshy fruit. They are small and typically about a quarter of an inch to three inches in diameter. They are green when immature, ripening to an orange red to dark purple in early fall. The fruit are somewhat dry, but they are edible. The fruit is eaten by a variety of wildlife and the seeds are disseminated principally by birds and small mammals. Fruit may remain on the tree into the winter, and hackberry has good seed crops most years. Hackberry bark is its most unique characteristic, as you can see in this photo. The bark is grayish brown and with the characteristic quirky warts or ridges. As the tree ages, these warts and ridges develop into somewhat irregular scaly ridges, and the bark provides year round interest in the landscape, and again, it's a really good identifying characteristic. The wood is heavy but soft. The heartwood is a light brown to gray, and the sapwood is kind of a light yellow. The wood's overall appearance is similar to ash, but anatomically it's more closely related to elm, thus it's in the elm family. It is ring porous with two to three rows of large early pores, you know those are the ones formed in the early part of the growing season, and small late later wood pores um, in wavy bands. Those are the pores that are formed later in the growing season. The wood is good for steam bending, and it's considered non-durable to perishable and is susceptible to fungal discoloration if not processed promptly. Hackberry is a relatively important wildlife tree. The fruits eaten by fox squirrel, quail, pheasant, wild turkey, cedar waxwing, yellow-bellied sapsuckers, mockingbirds, and robins. It is also an important host for the hackberry emperor and question mark butterfly larva, as well as host for the American snout, morning cloak, and tawny emperor butterflies. Hackberry wood is of limited commercial importance, but good grades of hackberry wood are used for furniture, millwork, and some athletic equipment. The poorer grades of wood are used for crates and boxes, and again, the tree is used in landscape plantings. The national champion hackberry is in Hancock, Ohio. It's 286 inches in circumference, 90 feet tall, with an 89-foot crown spread. 
The Kentucky champion is in Mason County. It's 183 inches in circumference, 72 feet tall, with a 70-foot crown spread. If you'd like to know more about champion trees, check out American Forest National Champion Trees or check out the Kentucky Division of Forestry Champion Trees. Now for a few fun facts about hackberry. The common name hackberry is believed to be a corruption of the Scottish hagberry, which refers to the bird cherry tree in Britain. The leaves of hackberry are the easiest way to distinguish it from its relative sugar hackberry, Celtis levigata. Hackberry leaves are toothed and sugar hackberry leaves are, have smooth margins. Native American groups use the fruit for foods and spices and the, the bark and inner bark to make a variety of medicines. The scientific genus name for hackberry, Celtus, is the name that Pliny the Elder gave to the European hackberry. And the species name Occidentalis is Latin for West, a name Linnaeus applied to several species similar to European species, and these were found west of Europe in North America. I hope you enjoyed learning about the hackberry and get the opportunity to get out into your woodland, a local park or neighborhood, and enjoy the common hackberry.